Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make some corkboard brick. There are tutorials on my page that shows you how to use the clay and turn them into bricks. But if you don't have access to clay and you're not able to bake or anything, this is another simple way to make some bricks. It will look actually realistic when you're done. This is part one of the video. When I get it completely done, I will post a second video with the stained images and with the sealer in the middle of it. So the first thing you need to do is get yourself some cork board. Okay. They sell these cork tiles in your local department store, typically in the stationary section. They're generally um, about as thick as what I would say a one inch brick would be. If not, it's pretty close to it. So um, let me show you what we're going to do. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to need to get yourself a paper cutter or a box cutter and you're going to need to be very careful and you're going to cut them. If you're cutting it on a paper cutter, all you're going to do is push the paper cutter down. Now, it will only work with this kind of paper cutter, the kind that slides back and forth with the little rotary wheel. It will not work with, I can tell you that. This is too thick for that. As you can see, here's a piece I've already cut and then you will just go ahead and press that completely down Make sure you have it even, and then you will get it. Just like that. You will get a strip, the same as I did. Once you have that strip, then you're going to want to cut your bricks to size. Now there's two ways you can do it. You can kind of measure, like this, and use a box knife, which is kind of hard to do holding the camera like that. Or you can measure it by putting your brick on top of the other brick and then taking a pair of scissors, hopefully you can see this, and cutting it just like that. Now obviously you're going to need lots of bricks so you're going to have to do this lots of times. A little bit quicker to do it with the scissors as long as you have decent scissors it works out pretty nice and then there you go now with laying them what I did was I used some wood glue and I put it all on here which I'll do a little bit more so I can kind of show you take your bricks, I don't know why my camera keeps going in and out of focus on you, sorry about that, and then you are going to lay them with just a tad bit of space in between. Now you can line up your stuff with like a grid piece of paper or you can kind of guess at it, it's not that big of a deal, as long as you keep them pretty uniform in shape, you should be okay. Again, you're just going to lay it down. I don't really like that brick, but oh well. Okay. All right. Now, once this dries, you can actually take some filler and fill in the middle of it. Um, you can squish in some cement or you can squish in some plaster of Paris, whatever it is you have. And then if you get it on this part of your brick, um, just try to wipe it off with a damp rag and whatever you don't wipe off, then you're going to have to um, not get it on there obviously because it's not going to come off and I don't like this brick at all. It just does not look very uniform to me. It's messing up the whole thing. So, they're not going to be perfect in size no matter what you do. Um, 
but bricks are not perfect when they're molded in the factory anyway. So it'll work out. Now as far as staining the brick, you can use like a cherry stain or if you have a stain marker, you can use that. You can paint it with some acrylic. Either way you go, um, you can pretty much do any kind of stain. Now if you're using acrylic, I would water it down just a little bit so it absorbs into the cork board. If you're going to use a stainable marker um, that you use for furniture, then you know you would just paint it on with that. If you're going to use stain, then you would just rub it on with the stain. It will stain really nicely and um, it'll look realistic when it's done. Now I will show you the finished product in the second video, but for now I'm going to show you roughly what it's going to look like when you put it on the front of your house. Okay, so here it is unfinished, and then there it is like that. Now, if you're going to do it on the front of your house, um, this is actually just a test piece I did to show the video, but you probably want to come all the way up to your porch edge, or you want to put a piece of trim along the edge of your porch so that it kind of overlaps it a little bit. Either way, it'll still turn out good. And if you want to put it on your fireplace, you can do that too. You just kind of put it right up on there. You know, just glue the bricks on individually all the way up. And then you just go like that. Um, I'm not sure if you want to put it in this part, if you have that part on your fireplace or not. That would be up to your discretion. And again, you do that. And if you're cutting the bricks on the angle to fit into the crevice of the curve, that's just something you will have to do with scissors. But I would suggest that you take this curve and you trace it on paper and then trace that on your brick so you get it more precise. All right, well, thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for part two. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to follow my Facebook page on Miniature Madness and tutorials for more. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.